the semi-final begins. Poland taking on Germany for a place in the final of the UEFA Under-17 Championship. And the gentleman who, well, that's a great chance, just suddenly came out of nowhere. Oh, no wonder Paris Brunner just brings his hands over his mouth. Took everybody by surprise. Poland with that last gasp winner against uh, Serbia from Filiborecic. And uh, a good stop made by uh, Piekutowski. Decent chance for the captain, Darby. Germany comfortable winning all three matches. Ten goals scored, just one conceded in their group. A good chance for the pullback and poked in. A beautiful finish. Clever play from Daniel Mikowajewski. It's Poland 1, Germany 0. The player who came on as a substitute against Serbia and scored was put into the starting 11 today. And that is why he has justified the faith shown in him by Marcin Wodarski. A little flick was a decent idea. Oh my goodness, that's come through to Mikowajewski. Who had... A tremendous opportunity unexpectedly. From distance and nearly, nearly finding its way in. I think there was a German touch on the way. With Raugo. Plays it to Brunner. Dangerous position and maybe not the right ball. Oh, we had teammates in front of goal who were really fuming about that. Oh, it's an excellent chance and a great header. Max Morstead gets his first goal of this competition. A wonderful lead by the Hoffenheim player. He had a lot of space, but still, there was an awful lot required from that header. And it was an excellent one. Poland won, Germany won. Chiski's ball finds uh, Mikhoevsky. Boris. What a lovely goal again from Poland. That's their second exquisite piece of football. These young players understand the game, they understand each other, and they understand how to play big matches. It's Poland 2, Germany 1. It's Carol Boris's third goal of the competition. Well controlled, beautifully controlled, what a, oh it's off the bar, and now surely to follow up and put it in, off the post, oh that's remarkable, Moisted at the heart of it all, he laid it off to Darvik who seemed to have beaten the goalkeeper, but he couldn't beat the frame of the goal, Moneda, excellent ball, and in, wonderful quality again from Eric Da Silva Moreira, such an outstanding free kick that from the number 17, the Zampaoli player, as Germany have levelled the contest on Friday. Now space suddenly out of nowhere and then rather misplaced, to put it gently. Telan Bolut, the player who got back to cover. Excellent ball, Hermann, space. Beautiful goal! Germany 3-2 ahead. Having trailed twice, that was a wonderful finish from Charles Hermann. The Borussia Dortmund player has put Germany closer to the place that they desperately crave in the final of the tournament. So these German players know Mike Huras extremely well, but they know they're in control of this game now as falling and striking Max Moerstedt couldn't get it beyond Piekutowski. Nonetheless Poland still with opportunities, my goodness, Filip Wolski. Three all, this sensational game gives more and more and more. It is a beautiful advertisement for this competition. Or oh, free header 
all too easy for Germany. They go 4-3 up. Hassan Wedraugo, the 15-year-old, the youngest player in the team, makes it 4-3. That time, Schala just missed the step. Brunner plays it to Davich and it's going to be put in. It is a fifth goal for the Germans. The substitute, Robert Ramzak. 5-3 and now Christian Wurk's team is very close to a place in the final on Friday. Oh, good tip over the top by Piekutowski. It's been a funny sort of match where neither of the goalkeepers actually have made a huge numbers of saves. He's felt the positive atmosphere in the Polish team and from the coaches as that clatters the bar from Hermann who nearly, nearly had his second. Well, they have been a joy to watch in Hungary. Can he fashion something out of nothing? Very nearly. A sensational game. The Polish players were beaten, but they were not defeated. This was a noble display from some excellent young athletes. Poland 3, Germany 5.